Hi, this is Rachel. In science, you will often be using symbols, particularly in writing equations. So this video will show you how to do superscripts and subscripts in Microsoft PowerPoint. If you want Microsoft Word, I've done previous videos on that. So first of all, open up PowerPoint. So I don't know if you can see, but I have a Mac, so I have PowerPoint for Mac, but the principle is the same for Windows. Everything should be in roughly similar menus. So sometimes with PowerPoint it is easier to do your superscripts, subscripts and symbols in Word first and then copy and paste them into PowerPoint. So this is particularly useful if you're writing a report in Word that you then want to make a presentation from. However, sometimes you'll just be doing a PowerPoint on its own. So we'll look at how to do these things directly in Microsoft PowerPoint. So you can see here I've got a title slide. Title slides have weird fonts, so I'm going to make myself a new slide. Here we go. I'm going to start off by writing the name of a compound. So let's start with CH4, which is methane. So I now have CH4 on a slide. However, as you can see, the 4 is a normal size, whereas what I want is for the 4 to be a subscript, since it's indicating the number of hydrogen atoms in methane. In order to do this, the method is exactly the same as in Microsoft Word. I highlight the 4, and as you can see in the top bar, I have two little symbols under my fonts. I have an A with a little blue 2 to the top right that gives me superscripts, and I have an A with a little blue 2 to the bottom right which gives me subscripts. So with my 4 highlighted, I just press the subscript, and it subscriptifies that 4. And there we have it, a subscript 4, and now my document says CH4 as in methane. Let's look at another one. So I'll go down a couple of lines. So let's look at, let's see, 202G. So this is something you might see in an equation. We have two different numbers here, and we have a G in brackets, with our, which is our state symbol of gas, which shows that our oxygen here is a gas. So let's go ahead and make the 2 in O2 a subscript since we know how to do that. There we go, just like we did for CH4. So what about the 2 at the beginning before the O2? Well this number should not be a subscript or a superscript because it's showing us the number of O2 molecules there are. So we need to leave that number as it is, the same size and style font as any letters we've got. So now let's look at the state symbols. So these should also be subscript, although sometimes you may see them in just a smaller sized font. So let's go ahead and make that gas subscript too. So I'm going to highlight and then press my subscript button. There we go. So there are also some keyboard shortcuts. Now on a Mac, the keyboard shortcut for subscripts is different for PowerPoint than it was in Word. So to get a subscript, you hold Command and Shift and press the minus button. On a Windows machine, you hold Control and press plus. Now sometimes we'll want to use superscripts for units or perhaps electron configurations in chemistry. So let's have a go at a superscript. So this time let's say I want to give some units, maybe meters squared. There we go. So I've got m2 meters squared. Now that 2 currently isn't a squared. I want it to be a superscript, so a little number in the top right. So I highlight my number and I go to the superscript, which is this a with a little 2 in the top right. And I press that. It makes my 2 a superscript. Now the normal keyboard shortcut for superscripts on a Mac does work in PowerPoint. So the shortcut is you hold Command and Shift and then press the plus button. In Windows, you hold Control, Shift and press plus. Great, so that is subscripts and superscripts for PowerPoint.